Hello everybody, this is Brandon with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion. And today I wanted to talk about a phrase that a lot of people have heard of before, um, and that's, your body is a temple. So what all does that mean, and, and, and what can it mean in your life, and things of that nature? What can it mean in relationship to your spirituality? Um, all fun things like that, right? So first and foremost, your body is your temple. So you, when you think about it, when we need to look inward, which is how we do any of our mindfulness practice, which is how any prayers done, meditation, um, yoga, qigong, breath work, any of these focus things that we do or these things we do to balance our system, right? It, it's completely developed in, in managing that temple, making sure that we are able to be as pure as possible in our thoughts. That way our heart can feel at home, right? In congruence. That's what we're trying to get, heart congruence. Um, again, very, very Im important research has been done with the Heart Math Institute. I talk about them all the time. Check them out. They'll talk, talk to you about heart congruence and things like that. Um, an excellent organization that has been putting science work into um, really explaining a lot of things that scriptures, um, Vedic text, etc. have been saying for, for thousands of years. Um, but they're actually doing a lot of research with the heart that's proving a lot of the spirituality to be 100% um, in, in even Western science at this point. So check them out. Um, I say that because, because it came through with heart congruence. That's a big thing that they talk about, and they have different ways that they do it. But um, excellent excellent research is being done there. So I, I got to put a plug out there. Um, but as, as with that, you have to maintain this system in order to be as pure as possible, meaning as energetically um, vibrant as possible, as emotionally stable as possible, right? In control of your life. When you do these things, there's another thing that happens, right? We are the body for source, right? Source is trying to experience everything, everything everywhere, right? So our individual bodies, when we learn to get over our own desires and things of that nature, which they, they ultimately, in, in many different ways, cause pain if we're attached to them. Let me put it that way, by get over, if we're attached to them, if we're attached to the outcome. If we're not going along with the process, which is what mindfulness and setting up our temple in our body, that does, right? So, so with that, we, you need to, you need to, um, you need to maintain that system in order to act as source would act, right? So your temple has to be clean in order for there to be service. Right. And that's really what that's talking about. So whether or not that's your nutrition, that's your proper breathing, which would which causes more toxicity in people's body than than their food. Right. We hold 70 percent of our toxins in our, our body constantly by not breathing properly. So then your temple's not clean. Service can't be held. Right. Your energy putting a lot of, lot of uh, energy draining foods, you know. Yes, if, if you eat plants, you're killing something. If you eat meat, you're killing something. And we can talk, you know, about the industries and things like that, but on an energetic level is where the problem is. Your body is now having to work really, really hard to digest its food, so it's not able to reach other energetic levels. It's not able to use that energy for creativity. It's not able to use that energy for consciousness. It's not able to use that energy to, to help more, to do more, to grow more, right? It's just digesting food. So it's just wasting its time, right? So the body as a temple goes into every aspect of your life. And when you develop these daily practices, this daily sadhana, you know, you're taking care of your body, yes. And what does that say? That says you're grateful for your life, right? You take in these things just naturally. 
And then eventually your life starts to change because you're taking care of the temple. Then you start taking, you expand your temple after that. Once you reach a, a certain level of, of good here, then it's able to radiate outward because your heart's incongruent. So your electromagnetic field that's pumping out is one of healing, one of help, not one of, of overloaded stress, right? All right, everybody, I hope this message really hit home for you. And I hope it helps get a little bit better understanding and maybe more practicality to incorporate it into your day-to-day -day life, that phrase, your body is a temple. Thank you so much. Y'all go out and have a great day on purpose.